Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is not dead. He has been raised from the dead. He is alive forevermore. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. He's making intercessions, which means he's praying for both me and you. And so I greet you in that name, and I am blessed to be able to pray with you today on our Fresh Fire Daily Prayer Devotional. I am so excited about this month's prayer focus. We're praying through the book of Proverbs. That's right, we're praying through the book of Proverbs. And the Bible says, he who gets wisdom loves life in Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 8. And he who cherishes understanding will be prospered soon. In other words, God says, that if you want to have a love and a desire and a passion for life, he says, get wisdom. He said, if you want prosperity to show up for your soul and even in your finances and in your resources, he says, cherish his understanding. So that's what we're doing all month long. We're seeking God's wisdom and we're cherishing his understanding. So today we're going to be reading from Proverbs chapter three, verses one and two, Proverbs chapter three, verses one and two. We're just going to read the passage of scripture that is before us. And then we're going to pray the principles and the promises and the precepts that are contained in the verse and just believe God that he is no shorter than his word, that he will give us what we need. He will supply it. Let's read Proverbs chapter three, verse one and two together. Here's what the word of God says. My son, do not forget my teaching. Keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Amen. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. They will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. I want to pray for four things today, according to Proverbs chapter three, verse one and two. Number one, we want to pray that we will keep the Lord's commands in our hearts. Keep the Lord's commands in our hearts. Number two, we want to pray that God would add length of days to our life, that he'll add length of days to our life. Number three, we want to pray that God would also add peace to our life. Shalom, nothing missing, nothing broken. Then fourthly and finally, we want to pray that God would add prosperity to our life. He would add prosperity to our life. Come on, let's pray to the Lord today. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. We magnify you. We lift you up and we praise your holy name. God, it is your day and this is the day that you have made. We've come before you to rejoice. We've come before you, oh God, to be glad in it. God, thank you for new mercies each and every morning. Thank you for your grace that is sufficient. Thank you for inviting us to your throne of grace, telling us we can come boldly seeking and finding favor and help in our time of need. God, we repent of your um, of sins against you. We thank you for the conviction of the Holy Spirit that reminds us of things we did that we should not have done, things we didn't do that we left undone. We we confess those to you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we desire your wisdom. We desire your understanding and your knowledge. So we pray, Lord God, today, according to Proverbs 3, verse 1 and 2, that we would hide your word. We would keep your commands in our hearts. Lord, the world sends so much information our way that it is easy for us to get distracted. But We pray, Lord God, we would be devoted to your word. We would be devoted to your commands and we would hide them in our hearts that we might not sin against you. Lord, we pray that as we do that, you would add length of days to our lives. Lord, we pray that you would protect us in the streets, that you would protect us in the highways and the byways. You would protect us on our jobs. You would protect us in our homes, God. You would cover us and shield us from the fiery darts of the enemy, Lord. You would keep our bodies from disease. You would keep our family from hurt, harm, and danger, Lord. Give us length of days 
in these times in which we live. We also pray, Lord God, that you would add peace to our lives, that there would be nothing missing and nothing broken, that, Lord God, as we follow you, you would make even our enemies be at peace with us. Lord God, as we pray to you and seek your face and show gratitude toward you, God, that you would uh, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. You would supply us with a peace that surpasses all understanding. God, we thank you for your peace. We thank you for the peace that comes from following Jesus Christ. And then, Lord God, we pray that you would also add to our life your prosperity. God calls our souls to prosper. Lord, calls us to grow in the things of God. Calls us to grow in your word. Calls us to grow in faith. Calls us to grow in our trust in you. Lord, bless us spiritually. Bless us physically, Lord. Prosper us in each and every way. Supply every one of our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Cause people to give into our lives good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, that they would come and give according to your command. Open up the windows of heaven, God, and pour us out a blessing that we do not have room enough to receive. Lord, anoint our head with oil. Cause our cups to run over, Lord. You are great, Lord, and you can do it. And therefore, God, we believe you for it. And it is already done by faith in our na- in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it and bless you, God, for length of days. We thank you for peace in our life. We thank you for prosperity, Lord. We thank you for hiding your word in our hearts. And we believe victory in the life of your people. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We pray today from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. That's my prayer for you today, that you'll experience length of days, peace and prosperity in this life at the hand of our God. Listen, share the channel with a neighbor, a friend, a coworker, prayer partner. Let them know that Pastor Wiggins and the New Horizons Church family are praying through the book of Proverbs. Join us this month by subscribing to the channel, sharing the channel, and hitting that notification button. We'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.